walking the arms forward to tent the fingers or just doing something that you need to do for your shoulders. But let's just get into the breath, maybe moving a little from side to side. And just starting to focus on the space between the shoulder blades, seeing if you can breathe in and out into that space. the arms over to your right, just starting to stretch laterally up the left side of your body. And walking the arms on over to your left, stretching the right side of your body. table pose and we'll just start to make some gentle movements. Let's play with cat and cow. Inhale, lift tail, lift chin, tighten the belly. Exhale, curl inward, chin toward chest. And again, inhale, just nice and slow, starting to open up across the collarbones. And exhale, really round in, push the ground away. And again, nice slow, deep inhale. And nice deep exhale. We'll take two more inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. center. We're going to pick up the right leg behind you and just point and flex your lifted foot a few times. Just get your foot active. And then choosing either pointing or flexing your lifted foot. I prefer the flexion here, so just, you know, play with whatever you'd like. But we're going to take your opposite arm up and forward. Maybe open and close your lifted hand a few times just to activate your hand. And then we'll play with a bind. You can go ahead and bend your lifted knee, work to reach around and grab your foot or ankle behind you as you pull open the heart. Try to draw up and inward through your core to protect your low back. And take a deep inhale to lift a little taller. And exhale, let's find your leg to so come on back to your table pose. Do the other side. Picking up your left leg and just practicing pointing and flexing, getting some activity in that lifted leg. And then choosing one of the two, either pointing or flexing, let's go ahead and take your right arm up and forward. Maybe open and closing lifted hand just to stretch out the hand for a moment. And then we'll add on the bind, grabbing the foot or ankle or pant leg behind you. You could also use a strap and just kind of loop it around your foot. But just nice and slowly peeling open across the right collarbone. Using your low belly a little bit just for support. And take a deep inhale, lift a little taller. And exhale, find your legs. And head on back to your table. Let's do a little eye of the needle. Inhale the left arm to the sky and exhale, curl that shoulder down to the ground. Maybe take one hand on top of the other as you rest in this gravitationally supported twist. Slowing down the breath. Maybe closing the eyes. If you sit all day, this is such a good one to do. the shoulders a little more. So let's go ahead and take your lifted arm 
around your low back. Maybe the fingertips nestle toward the hip crease. Slowing down breath. Keeping it simple to begin. I promise we'll do some pretty fun stuff today, more advanced level. So just get into your advanced level state of consciousness right here. So we're going to take that lifted arm past the crown of your head, pushing through the fingertips and starting to roll open a little bit more through the chest. Just take a few more added cycles of breath as you wiggle the right hip back in line with the left. Awesome. Let's walk your lifted hand back underneath your shoulder. We'll curl back up to your table. Inhale. Let's pick up that left arm to the sky, though. And exhale. Drop into your table. So just, you know, take care of your knees. Feel free to pat up something extra. We're going to do the other side. Inhale the right arm high just to open it. And exhale. Drop down. Bring that right shoulder to the ground. Nestling one hand on top of the other. Maybe push the hands together gently to curl open into your twist. arm up and around your low back, maybe nestling fingertips in toward that inner hip crease somewhere, turning the chest open just a little bit more, noticing how it feels. lifted arm now way past the crown of the head let's push through the fingertips and drag your left hip back in line with the right just rotating open slightly deeper back underneath your shoulder. Inhale, let's curl back up, right arm to the sky. Awesome. And exhale, here's your table. So let's flip over the toes. We're going to sit back onto the heels for a moment and just look forward at the hands. So any arm balances we do today, we just want to set up deliberately right now with those hands. Take up lots of space between the fingers and push through the index finger and thumb knuckle specifically. And as you push the ground away, let's go ahead and straighten the legs, lifting into your downward dog. You can let the head soften. Maybe shake out the head. Just starting to paddle out the body, one heel at a time to the ground. Noticing how it feels to stretch into your downward facing dog. Maybe it's quite glorious. Maybe it presents challenges. Just notice where you land into it right now along that spectrum. And we'll take the next inhale to rise the heels. And exhale, we'll look forward. Let's walk on up to the top edge of your mat. We'll inhale, lift halfway forward. And exhale, fold. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, let's lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Let's do it again. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Let's come on up to stand. Inhale all the way up. 
and exhale, it's full forward. Let's start uh, cycles of Surya Namaskars. Inhale, lift halfway forward. Exhale, fold. Step or jump back. Lower down into your Chaturanga. Keep it nice and strong. Inhale, find a back bend. Maybe a little upward facing dog. And downward dog. Exhale, lift the hips. Paddling it out. Relaxing the head. Noticing the entire back body just stretching into the spaciousness that you're creating. And we'll take a big inhale to rise the heels, engage your core. Exhale, look forward, step or jump on up to the top of your mat. Lift halfway forward, breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to stand. And let's do it again. Exhale, fold forward into the legs. Good. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold. Step or jump back. Let's lower down. Chaturanga, keep it nice and tight. Inhale, open into your back bend, loosening the front body. Exhale, downward facing dog, rising through the hips. Paddle it out once again. We're going to start to go a little faster. <laughs> So just kind of preparing the mind for this ease amongst the effort. And we'll take next inhale to rise heels. Exhale, look forward, step or jump on up. Lift halfway, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, let's fold forward. Here we go, a little quicker. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, open into your back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, let's pick up the heels. Exhale, look forward, step or jump on up to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, back up to stand, breath in. And again, breath out to fold forward. Good. If I'm going too fast, feel free to slow it down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step or jump back. Lower down. Inhale, open into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, rising heels. Exhale, look forward. Use your core. Jump on up to the top. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. And we're going to find a chair pose on your exhale, Utkatasana. So let's play with Surya Namaskar B, a little bit Yasa style. Inhale, lift the rib cage. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale into your back bend, great job. Exhale, downward dog. A very simple stepping of the right foot forward, come up to warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, hands land to the earth. We'll step back. Chaturanga. Inhale, open to back bend. Exhale, downward facing. Left foot forward, warrior one. Inhale, keeping it easy here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Step back, lowering down. Inhale into your back bend. Great job. Exhale, downward dog. Good. I'm going to take off my sweater. It's a little warm now for me. Nice, beautiful day here in Ithaca. Still warrants having a little extra coverage on my shoulders. Good. Let's take a nice inhale, lift up heels. Exhale, look forward, tighten your core, and hop on up to the top. Good. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Come on back to your chair pose. Bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold, step or jump back, lowering down. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward. Inhale, the right leg to the sky, please. Exhale, step the foot forward, warrior one. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, chaturanga, step back and lower. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, lift on up. Exhale, chaturanga. Step back and lower. 
Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing. Good. Just moving through some Surya Namaskars, being playful, having a little bit of fun. Next, inhale, the heels. Exhale, look forward. Use your core, straight arms. Hop on up to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Come back to chair pose. Inhale, let's do it again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, step or jump back. Lower down. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward. Inhale, right leg to the sky, please. Exhale, open the hip and bend the knee. Inhale, kick leg up. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, we're going to bind the hands behind your back. Take the heart to the sky. Inhale, feel free to use a strap between your hands. Exhale, fold to the upper left-hand corner of your mat. And just relaxing here for five, four, three, sink a little deeper into the legs, two, notice the shoulders, and one, inhale, come up, lift the arms to the sky, exhale, chop to run back, step it on back, and lower down, inhale, open to your back bend, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, dog at the fire hydrant subs. Open it. Inhale, kick it back up. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, push to lift up. Exhale, bind the hands. Feel free to put something between your hands back there. Inhale, rise the heart. Exhale, humble warrior fold. And just relaxing here for five, four, Three, two, and one. Let's lift back up. Inhale, arms to the sky, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. We'll step back and lower down. Inhale, back bend of your choosing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, a little bit deeper from here. Inhale, lift up heels. Exhale, look forward, straight arms to hop you up to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, come on back to your chair pose. Inhale, we're gonna open the arms to the right on your exhale. Good, inhale back to chair, come back to center. Exhale, open the arms to your left. Again, inhale back to chair, squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale back to chair. Exhale to your left. Inhale back to chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, step or jump back. Lower down. Inhale, here's your back bend. Shoulder blades pull together. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, open the hip, bend the knee a little deeper now. Inhale, kick it up, listen. Exhale, plank, knee to right armpit. Let's hold it here for five, four, three, two, so good. One, three legged dog, please. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, lift to warrior one. Exhale, bind the hands. Grab a strap or something if you need it. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, come back up, keep the bind if you can. And exhale, we're gonna find your way to warrior three. So let's go ahead and lean forward. Back leg can lift. So point and flex your lifted foot and then commit to one of those actions for five, four, three, two, Come on back to warrior one, please. On one, toe ball heel, lift your foot to the floor. Arms high, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. We'll step back, lower down. Back bend, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, dog at the fire hydrant, please. Inhale, kick it straight up. Exhale, plank, knee to left armpit. Hug it in and hold. For five, four, push your fingertips, 
three, protect the shoulder, two, looking good out there, one, three-legged dog, inhale, pick it up, exhale, warrior one, inhale, lift on up, exhale to bind behind the back, good, inhale, chest high, exhale, fold, inhale, come back up, keep that bind, exhale, lean forward, here's your warrior, three, lean in, back leg lifts, Point and flex lifted foot, and then commit for five, four, three, two, warrior one, please, on one, toe ball, heel that foot back to the floor, arms can lift, inhale, and exhale, hands down, step back, chaturanga, inhale, back bend, exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. We're going to keep going. It'll be wonderful. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, look forward. Protract your shoulders. Use that to hop on up to the top of your mat. Halfway up. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Come back to chair pose. Inhale. Obligatory twist time, please. Palms together. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, turn to the right. And just roll it on open to prayer twist for five. Four, three, two, one, look down, come back to chair, inhale, exhale, other side, turn it open to twist, for five, you can lift and spread your toes, four, try to squeeze your inner thighs together, three, lift the chest a little stronger, two, one, look down, come back to chair, inhale, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, let's hop the feet out to your yogi squat. We're just going to be here for a few cycles of breath. Get the feet out about max of distance. Push down into the feet to lift the chest. We're heading to crow pose, please. If you hate crow pose, just try, see how it feels. You do not have to hold for the full five count of breath. Let's get into it. Lean into your bakasana. Maybe work towards straighter arms today for five, four, three, two, and one. You can step or jump your way back for chaturanga, lowering down. Inhale, opening your hips, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing. Good. So we're going to play a little bit this cycle, a little bit differently. We'll take the right leg back to the sky though, inhale, exhale, dog at the fire hydrant, please get into the front of your hip, inhale, kick the leg straight back to the sky, exhale, plank knee to opposite armpit, let's hold it, so cross it under for five, four, three, two, one, three-legged dog, inhale, and exhale, warrior two, let's open it up. Just being nice and simple with Virabhadrasana B. Let's just simply stay right here, sink down into the legs. For five, engage arms. Four, engage legs. Three, two. On one, let's take your back arm around your low back, maybe nestling the fingers toward the inner hip. Front arm to the sky, maybe hand behind the head. Just think about this like an obligatory stretch for five, four, three, two. Good. On one, we're going to straighten your front leg and get up there a little bit taller. If you want to work to grab fingers in between your shoulder blades here, please feel free. A little deeper now for five. Four, three, two, good, and one, we're going to release the arms, inhale, we're going to triangle pose, so you can wiggle back foot in if you'd like, and then go ahead, lean into the front leg, maybe grab your big toe for the bind, let's pick it on up into your Utita Trikonasana for five, four, 
four, three, two. We're gonna go to side plank on one. Hang on to your toe if you can. If you can't grab your toe, bend your knee and try to grab your toe. Lifted hand though, left hand to the floor. Here we go, pick up your back heel and spin open to your right for side plank. Maybe take your leg along with you for five, four, three, two. Warrior one, please step your foot back to the top edge of your mat. Come on up to warrior one. Inhale and exhale, chaturanga. Let's step it back and lower down. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, dog at the fire hydrant. Open it. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, plank. Knee to the right armpit. Cross it under. Here we go. For five. Hug it all in. Four. Three. Two. One. Three-legged dog. Inhale, pick it up. And exhale, warrior two, windmill open. Easy, bear the drops in the knee, push through the four corners of both feet for five, four, dig out the work, three, two, one, back arm around your low back, maybe fingertips in toward the hip, front arm to the sky, maybe hand behind the head, just open it up for five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted up above. We're going to straighten your front leg and maybe work towards grabbing fingers. You could always grab a strap in between the shoulder blades. This is the side that doesn't exactly work for me. Wherever you're at, though, just really lift, lift, lift the whole rib cage for five, four, three, pushing your front big toe, two, lift a little stronger, and one, reopen the arms to T, feel free to wiggle back foot in, Utika Trikonasana, lean into left leg, maybe grab the big toe. Turn it out open to triangle pose for five, four, three, two, and a one. We'll take your lifted hand to the floor. Let's go ahead and pick up your back heel. We're going to side plank. So on your right hand, spin it out open to your left. Maybe your foot joins the right. For five, four, three, two, and one. We're making our way back to warrior one, nice and slow. Inhale, rise on up, and exhale, hands to the earth. Step it on back, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, back bend, exhale, downward. Okay, we have a little bit more to do. Let's flip our dog. We're gonna go into some Kundinyasanas, the crossover scissor leg Kundinyasana time. It'll be super fun if you're not familiar with it. I'll talk you through it and we can just try it, okay? Right leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, let's flip our dog first. Make sure the toes turn away from the rest of the body as you lift the hips up for five. Four, three, two, one. Circle around, inhale, lift leg. Exhale, plank, knee to opposite armpit. You can stay right here. You can take a push up or you can lean forward and scissor out the legs. For five, just get to where you need to be. Four, three, two, looking good. One, find your way back to three-legged dog. <laughs> Inhale, pick the leg up. Warrior two, please. Find your warrior two. We're going to take an easy, peaceful warrior, straightening the front leg. Inhale, really lengthen it up. 
Triangle pose on your exhale. In your triangle pose, we'll bind the hands behind your low back, okay? So you can always grab a strap, no problem. Just an interlock of fingers. Let's roll open the chest for five. Four, three, two, looking good, one, look down, we're just going to try an easy bound arm standing half moon variation, bend your front knee, wiggle forward, keep your arms bound if you can, float the back leg up, let it feel easy, for five, four, you can always have right hand on the floor, three, Two, one, let's release, come on into your warrior two. Good. Easy, peaceful warrior, inhale. Exhale, extend the side angle, maybe binding the arms behind you. Getting a little deeper into the hips, turn it open for five. Four, three, two, we're going to play with that weird standing half moon balance from here. Feel free to grab a strap in between your hands. Look down the front leg. We're going to wiggle back foot in, trying to stand straight up on the front leg as you lift the back leg up. Just play with it because it's a really fun one to play with. Just notice if it's possible to keep the arms bound as that back leg lifts. Maybe it's easier to keep both feet on the floor. For me, it's better to try to really straighten my front leg, my standing leg. <laughs> it's fun no matter what, <laughs> even if you're falling out like I am. Maybe I should have grabbed my strap. <laughs> We're gonna take a vinyasa. So wherever you're at, if you wanna do a little handstand play, Back into your vinyasa, feel free. Make sure your vinyasa has a lot of power to it. Lifting into your upward dog just to unravel all those that binding and downward dog to lift. Good, so we're gonna enter into the other side. Here we go, left leg high, inhale. Exhale, you can flip it on over. Rise, rise, rise through the hips for five, four, three, two. Last inhale on one. Exhale, we circle around. Inhale, kick leg up. Exhale, plank. Knee to opposite armpit. Stay here. Maybe do a push-up, maybe go into the arm bind or the arm balance for five, four, three, two, one, three-legged dog, please. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Let's straighten the front leg and really lift. And exhale, make your way into your triangle pose. This triangle pose, binding the hands easy behind the back for five. Turn the chest open. Four, engage your front leg. Three, two, and one. Look down, we're going into standing half moon. Keep it simple. Keep the arms bound if you can, otherwise release your hands. Here we go, try to float up your back leg for five, four, three, two, one, find your warrior two, and we'll inhale, easy, peaceful warrior, exhale, extended side angle, binding underneath the front leg, maybe grab a strap, these get deeper, here we go, for five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go for weird standing half moon balance. Wiggle back foot in, try to keep your bind, grab a strap maybe between the hands, but do try to push straight your front leg, let 
letting the back leg float up. Just play with it. No count here. Notice your balance. Notice your center of gravity. Maybe it's getting easier this week. We'll keep trying in subsequent classes. Again, we'll play with the vinyasa. Maybe handstand your way all the way back. Careful with your shoulders. Make sure your upward facing dog is super fruitful before finding your way to your downward dog. Good, nice. So from here, we're just gonna take a simple, <coughs> excuse me, Stepping of your right foot forward and take a quarter turn to your left. And then go ahead, we're going to drop down the knees, find a little bit of a frog pose. So inner knees, inner feet, inner shin bones on the floor. Maybe walking the forearms down. Noticing how it goes for you. And if this is really not good for the knees, Come up to a seat, bring the feet together and the knees apart and fold there. That'll effectively go into the inner thighs similarly. Maybe doing a little movement side to side. Noticing how it feels to get into the inner thighs, the groin. Maybe tilting under the bum. Surely steadying the gaze to focus more internally. Slightly deeper, you can walk the arms forward, little puppy pose action in your frog. Maybe landing the chest closer to the earth. Maybe the chin. Maybe none of those things happen. That's a-okay. Just please be with the thing where you can breathe. Maybe not super easy. A little bit of a balancing act here. Start to walk the hands back under the shoulders. Tilt your tailbone under and try to draw your low belly in to come up through straight arms. You can wiggle the legs together. I want to offer another vinyasa. So let's make your way from plank to strong chaturanga. Upward dog, just notice your hips. And downward dog, exhale. Good. We are going to head to Bhuja Pindasana from here and then we'll get into some core work. So Bhuja, let's step or hop the feet to the outer hands. Again, into a little yogi squat. Okay. So some of you might find this one to be weird, challenging. That's, that's totally normal. I don't even think I really understood the mechanics of this posture until like, I don't know, 15 years into my Ashtanga journey. It's so challenging. It still provides a lot of challenge. But um, if you're there, if you're like, hey, I hate that pose, please go back to crow pose or please practice a side crow, five counts of breath on each side. That's totally cool. Okay? If you're into the bhuja though, you can pick up your bum and just working to wiggle the shoulders through the legs. If you want to try a quick 
little bind. You can work the hands behind your back. Maybe grab fingers behind your back. Just playing with something that's like, oh man, I'm going into some deep territory here. And then we're going to take the hands behind your heels and place a little, or make a little shelf with your elbows as we shift the hips down and the chest up and forward. Maybe the feet start to float up. So Buja typically in the Ashtanga practice has the right ankle crossed over the left. If you are here and you're finding a bind and, and a nice balance, you can stay. If you want to try pointing the toes and finding a little forward fold action, you can do that. If you want to come up and try a little Titi Basana, you can kick the legs up and out. Just playing with the opening that you've been creating this whole process. Maybe making your way into your Bakasana from there. And we are going to make our way to your vinyasa. So just taking your time to step or jump your way back. And really opening up the fronts of the hips as you lift into your upper dog and downward dog. So I promise some core, we're going to do it up. Turn your gaze forward, hop through to your seat. Okay. So from your seat, watch me for a second. Some of you have done this before. Eagle crunches, eagle pose on your back, right leg first, and then right arm under. So you can come into this home base shape on the, on the floor on your back, so you can go ahead. And find your home base of right leg over, right arm under, and take an inhale, and exhale, crunch up knees to elbows. Let's do this 10 times. Here we go. Inhale, release. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, home base. Exhale, lift. Inhale, home. 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 Exhale, lift. Inhale, home, exhale, lift. Inhale, home, exhale, lift. Inhale, home, and exhale, lift. Hold it up here for five, lift your butt. Four, shoulder blades off the floor. Three, two, and a one, release it. Let's really stretch out the body horizontally on the ground. And we are going to go into a back bend from here before we switch sides. So maybe you'll set a bridge pose, maybe you'll set a wheel. Feel free to go to camel pose if that's a better option for your bodies. Setting it up and lifting on up for eight, seven. We have to unravel all that energy, right? Six, so just slowing down the breath. Five, four, three, two, big inhale on one, and exhale, come on down. Maybe you roll up the wrist if you did wheel. And we'll go to eagle crunches on the other side. Left leg over, left arm under. Find your home base. Take a big inhale and exhale, crunch. Inhale, home, 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 I'm going slow on purpose. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, slow. Exhale, lift. Inhale, home. Exhale, rise. Inhale, home. Exhale, lift. Inhale, home. And exhale, get up there and squeeze it all in for five, four, three, two, 
and one, let's release, horizontal stretch, out through toes, out through fingers. Set up your second back bend, maybe full wheel, maybe camel, maybe bridge pose. Level it up, perhaps. Here we go, to lift for 10. Don't let that scare you. Nine, try to stay with it. Eight. Seven, slow down the breath. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last inhale on one. Exhale, curl it down. Roll something out. Maybe a little happy baby just to relax. Opening everything back up. And we'll take a nice easy twist, knees together. If you want to do something bound, you can take eagle legs. Maybe left leg over, dropping the legs over to the right to twist. For me, that kind of pulls on my low back a little, so I don't go as deeply with that, but feel free if it feels good for your body. Just slowing it all down. To switch sides, really try to hug into Mula Bandha, squeezing the pelvic floor, releasing the legs, and then we'll switch legs. If you're doing the eagle legs, right leg over left, and twist on over to your left as you ground the right shoulder. Careful with your low back. More important to ground the shoulders as per usual here, so just reach through that right shoulder. Allow your upper back to find the earth. Allow your breath to slow down. You are a little bound and twisted, but maybe it feels amazing. So just calling upon those final cycles of breath to get us into the space where we can land into Shavasana. And hey, if there's other postures that you didn't receive, we didn't do all the binds in the entire world, feel free to head into an additional bind before moving into your rest pose. Maybe your rest pose is bound. Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees apart. Maybe you're grabbing a hold of elbows past the crown. But simply slowing everything down.
We'll take the next inhale to simply feel the rib cage rising. And the exhale, ground the space between the shoulder blades down into the earth. And just doing that again, the inhale lifting through the front of the heart. And exhale, push the shoulder blades down into the ground. And one more time, inhale just to feel the fullness of your rib cage. And exhale, root into the earth. Let's go ahead and stretch out the distance between fingers and toes. Maybe leaning to the left with the limbs and then on over to the right with the limbs. And climbing the knees upward into the chest to squeeze. Landing over onto the right side, and we'll make our way all the way up to your seat. And as we bow inward this evening, might the space be filled with a constant supply of gratitude? We'll close our practice with the sound of Om. Inhale. Om. I thank you all so much for joining today. Namaste.